I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we wanted to do our spotlight special on our new pencil torch. And this is a nice little handheld torch that is great for crafts among other things or working with your gourds. Um, they tell you you can use it to weld, repair pipeline, remove paint as well as jewelry. Another thing that I thought was really interesting is for you people that get very cold in the winter you can use it to unfreeze your lock. So there you go. It is 1300 Celsius so it gets very very warm so you need to use it with caution. There is two settings on this. We have a jet flame and a regular flame and that's kind of important especially when we go to a start it and we'll play with both of those there's also an on and off button as well as you can adjust your flame it's got a plus and minus there there is a little stand so you can set it down and it's hands free um, if you needed to set it down on the table do not touch any of the top part it gets very 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 hot follow all of the instructions on the uh, little packet it is it gives to you it also shows you the little things as well here is your little button where you refill it and to refill it you're just going to use your butane fuel which you get at any place where they sell cigarettes your grocery store Walmart any of those and you just put it in to refill it do not overfill it you do not want the uh, gas running around on you. Our ignition button is at the bottom and it tells us to put it into the jet flame when we first start it. So we've got that up and we're going to turn it on and we're going to hit our clicker. And you can see that our jet flame is there and we can turn it down or we can turn it up. And then we can switch it over to more of a torch, which is a bigger flame. And for me, for what I want to do, I like more of the jet control. So I'm going to keep it more on that because it's more of a small um, fire that I can work with. And we're going to show you kind of what you can do, just a couple of things here. While you're burning, I still tell you to wear your mask and take precautions on that and you should have a good rated mask not a just a uh, simple surgical or anything like that because you're still letting out all those harmful molds as well i'm going to go ahead and light it here again and adjust it a little bit bigger here and i'm going to do a rim of a gourd which is one of my favorite things to do and we're just going to come across the top and burn this and see you've still got the smoke but this is how you see a lot of the burned rims there is so much that you can do with it and each gourd will burn different and this is something that do very carefully because you want to make sure that you have control of the situation I would do it in a well ventilated area probably outside and even after you're done doing it, I would also keep a close eye on it because gourds have been known to have an ember in them. Uh, see if I've got one right in the middle of there. I don't know if it's still on fire or not. So know that they do kind of do that. And you can catch them on fire if you see the flame there. So this is something you really want to consider and be aware of and it should go without saying this is not a toy do not leave this lying around so kids can get a hold of it or anything like that this is um you know it's very easy it's very easy to use but it just use it with caution is all i'm trying to say but see how simple that rim is and there's so many things that you can do with it. another thing that you can do is kind of add a little swirl to it. You could put burn designs on it if you wanted to. I'm just bringing this down just a little bit to kind of make a design. But there's all kinds of fun things you can do with it. I also use uh, metal images and burn around them and we'll get a video for you for that. 
but just know that you can use it to add so much to your board artwork and I'm gonna make sure I'm not on fire anywhere there and we'll do a I'm gonna turn this down just a tad I'm gonna come in and do a little bit more detailed work here so you can kind of see the options you have here I want to do a little bit of a swirl you could also do a heart and initials that would be kind of fun too right and we're going to turn it off but there are so many fun things you can do fresh there's nothing like fresh burned gourd fret smell in the air so come on over to miriamjoy.com and get yours today uh, play with it have fun with it don't be scared of it just use it with caution that's all we ask and we hope you really enjoyed this give us a thumbs up please share and comment on our postings and videos so that we can continue to grow and share them with more people thank you god bless